Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. Hi, it turns out that I'm running out of room in the EEV blog lab. Go figure, it's only about two and a half metres by two and a half metres, it's not very big at all. So here I am in the study, which is the only other room I've got available, and I've got my junk cupboard here, but it's not very well organised. Let's check it out. Look at this, it's basically my uh, book. It's got a very old, uh, you know, a 20, oh, almost 30 year old bookshelf. It's got some crap drawers here with cables. It's got boxes stuffed up the top. And basically I need more room for all of my component boxes and things like that. And my plastic tubs for all the gear. I use these in the EEV blog lab. I've shown you a tour of that before. So I thought what I'd do is rip all this out and uh, fit some shelves in here that are the perfect size for these plastic tubs. So the, uh, the whole idea is to refit it so I can actually get rid of uh, a lot of these books, probably not get rid of them, just put them into storage up in the roof or something like that, and um, refit out uh, all this so I can neatly organize stuff so I can access it. So I thought I'd show you building this thing. Stud finder. Let's give it a go. Beauty. and putting all the stuff back in but as you can see I've now got uh, shelving which allows me to utilize these uh, clip top plastic tubs for all my stuff to categorize everything and just slide them right in brilliant and I can uh, dedicate individual little tubs like these uh, for each project I'm currently working on so each project will have its own little tub like this which will have all the bags of all the components um, it'll have the PCBs and maybe schematics and all sorts of stuff I'm working on for each current project. So I've got like half a dozen current projects I'm working on, so they'll each get their own tub. Um, I've got tons of space. Well, it's the best I can do anyway. And, of course, everyone's got to have a tub of multimeters. Check it out. Don't know how many are in there, but everyone's got a tub of multimeters, right? Catch you later.